we are just starting our day by lounging around, swimming by the pool. But after this, we're gonna go on quite the adventure. We are going to scuba do, which is something that we've always wanted to do. It's kind of a mix between scubaing and snorkeling. They put this like bay thing over your head and then you get to go down far really deep, but like still be able to breathe. It looks super, super cool. And we can't wait to show you guys. I'm really excited to go scuba doing because it's kind of like an introduction to scuba diving. We've never gone scuba diving because we don't have a certification. Jenny says that it's a whole process to go through that. And uh, so I'm actually looking forward to it because I feel like scuba diving is in our future. Jenny's getting fueled up on some pizza before <laughs> we go. So a lot of cheese on that. Oh yeah. We're going out on the boat now. <laughs> wow, it's big. <laughs> we're pretty sure the boat just left without us. We were here early, so I guess things like that happen all the time. They're getting a new boat for us. All right, they found us another boat. So now we're getting on a boat. That's the party boat. Our taxi. So they dropped us off on like this little floating thing out here and the scuba doos are on here and we're just waiting for a turn, I think. I think we're going snorkeling right now and then scuba doing maybe a little bit later. Don't want any more little nubs from snorkeling. So I'm gonna try this method, let you know if it works. Any nubs?
so much fun. I don't even know if I have anything else to compare it to other than you feel like you're like in a little bubble and you're just like bopping around the sea. I'm gonna try to record Jacob getting out now. That's Jacob right there. It's his little bobber. <laughs> He's gonna emerge soon. Looks like we're getting on a glass bottom boat, but first, let me talk about the scuba dude. That was pretty wild. I just didn't really expect it to be like that. You just dunk your head under the water and then you swim up and you know, then you're scuba diving, kind of. And so you just sit on this little thing and you just get taken by all these fish. It was so amazing. Uh, what I didn't know at the beginning was that the diver that was with us, they were like feeding the fish. The fish would come up really close to us. I even got to touch one of the fish because they were so close. Wow, just like such a cool experience. And the fact that, you know, I was able to watch Jenny go off first and then we met near the middle. That was a lot of fun and we held hands and they took pictures of us and it was pretty great. I would say like overall the experience was great. You were only underwater for like 10 or 15 minutes. So that's a little short, but you know, it's a lot of fun to do it. Honestly had no idea that a glass bottom boat was included in this tour, but I guess it was. Here we have a shipwreck that is right off the coast, right by our hotel. Oh, I was getting a little seasick in there. I had to take a step out. And now we are finally heading back to shore. We didn't know this when we started, but we ended up getting on a glass bottom boat and we got to go across, you know, the sea and, you know, we saw a couple cool fish and the cool coral reefs were all right. Scuba Doo was so much fun. They like push you under and you're like, just like in this little bubble. I didn't know if my ears would get plugged or pop when we went under, but they did. And so I had to like release the pressure. So it really felt like we were like going deep down and the fish would come so close to you. It was so weird, but so cool. And now we are gonna go to the Japanese restaurant here at the hotel for dinner. So it's a little bit fancier than what we've been doing the past few nights. And I think the food's gonna be really good. So I'm really excited to go. Jenny and I almost never get to get dressed up to go to dinner. And so going to this restaurant is just gonna be so fun. <laughs> 